Okay. Dear John Piper. Dear Paul Washer. Dear Tim Conway. Dear Franklin Graham. Dear Howard Storm. Dear Don Piper. Dear Bill Weiss. I got a question for you. If if Jesus is real, why then are there people who cry out to him, calling out to him, sincerely wanting him? My mom used to be such a person, but Jesus does not come through for them. Why? 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 People ask Jesus, are you real? Sincerely wanting to believe in Jesus. Are you real? And I assume they're willing to give up their sin. Yet Jesus never reveals himself to them. Then there's some people who pray a prayer such as, Lord, if you're real, please save me. And they get instant, immediately converted. The people, when they get in a bind, when they start having doubts, ask Jesus, are you really real? And Jesus never comes through for them. Why does that happen? Why? Why? I mean, if Jesus really wants to save us, and one Put it, Jesus is more eager to speak to us than we are to speak to him. Why do some people cry out for months, maybe years, and Jesus never comes? Jesus never reveals himself to them. Why? Why? And, you know... If our faith is spiritual and not just psychological, why do Christians, born in Christians, who love and serve Jesus, I can name something to you, want nothing to do but love and serve Jesus, number one, why do they deconvert when they go to secular universities? Why? Why doesn't Jesus keep them what's going on here I'm so damn ugly I, I'm so damn ugly I want to take my fist and butt shatter my face into a thousand freaking pieces I'm so fucking ugly and old looking I wanna man if I had to look like this I knew if I knew I'd go to heaven I'd kill myself it's fat and pudgy and ugly I'd fucking kill myself There ain't nothing worth living on this earth looking like this. Nothing. Well, except having Jesus back. But even then, I'd, I, st I still would hate and utterly detest my body. Almost as much as God hates sin. And that's hyperbole. So I... Screw it, man. <laughs>